morning everyone. Here we are for a strength session Thursday morning. Um, we are going to have a good warm up, stretch out those muscles and then get into a good all over body strength session today. Hope everyone is well. Looking forward to coming back to the gym next week and in the meantime let's keep that body going. Um, I'm Nicole from Des Renford for those that have just joined us um, and anyone who's just come on board for the first time. Please today what we need is possibly a pair of weights if you've got them, or a single weight. Um, I'll be using a set of dumbbells. If you've got dumbbells, great. If you don't, as I've said in the past, modify if you can with you know, a water bottle filled with water. Um, some people have got um, a single weight, weighted backpack, or a single weight that you might have, a kettlebell, or heavy ball or whatever it may be. Ideally, some dumbbells would be great, but do what you can. You need some space around you. If you do have access to a step or a lounge to do some dips, that would be helpful, but if you don't have that, we can again modify where needed. Um, just make sure you work within your capabilities, as always, doctor's clearance, if you have any injuries, illnesses, please be aware of your own body and do what you are capable of, and at the same time, pushing yourself, and getting the most out of the workout. We are going to start with a good stretch. I want you to reach up, reach up tall. Lean back a little, just arch that back. And going into some big circles, just reaching up, pulling out, and all the way up overhead. Reaching out, slow big circles, rotating through. And the other way. And just down to the ground, towards the ground. Back up. Down to the ground again. And back up, bring those hands behind, clasp the hands together, leaning forward. And up, and again. And back up. I just want you to have a lunge into each side, standing wide with the feet and lunging down. You can bring that other toe up if you like, just get a little bit lower, as low as you can there. Each side, just stretching through that inner thigh, through the glutes, through the calves a little. I'm just trying to see who we've got on board there. Hi, hi, if you've just joined us. A little bit cloudy outside if you're in Sydney. Um, you might be inside, as I said, just make sure you've got that space. You'll need a mat also. We'll be doing some work on the floor. Have a water bottle nearby. Bring those feet in. And I just want you to do a few lunges forward. So just alternate, alternate with the lunge. Lunge, press with the hands out and just twist, twist and step back. Lunge, twist, twist, and back. Two more. Twist, twist, and back. Wow. 
ano. And back. And now walk it out with the hands. Walk it out into that straight arm plank position. And turning, opening up the chest there. And back. And over to the other side. Open up the chest. Balance. And back. One more to each side. And back. And to the other side. And back. Straight legs, walking the hands back towards the feet. Coming up, rolling those shoulders back. And then just rotating through a few straight arm, backstroke arms I call them. Three or four rotations on each side. And we should be ready to get into our main session. Rotate it through. All right. So today we're going to be doing um, two exercises, two compound movements. So a lot of these involve two muscle groups at the same time. And we'll be doing, rotating between two different exercises like that. Three rounds. And then we'll be doing a core exercise in between before starting another set of two exercises. Hopefully we'll be getting through eight different exercises, so four, four main rounds. Um, so make sure you've got your weights there, have a quick drink, and we're going to get into it. Welcome if you've just joined. We're just about to start our main, main set for this strength session today. Good all over the body workout. Use the weights appropriate for you or what you've got there. Heavier, the better, the more kind of strength benefit you'll get from it. In saying that, this is a workout where you can use a light weight as well. All right, I'm gonna start with some dumbbells. And our first exercise is a sumo squat, where you're going to have those wide feet and you're going to go down with your weight and you're going to pull up. So down, pull that weight up towards the chin, high elbows. All right? We're going to alternate that with a bicep curl and a press. So bicep curl, press up, down and back. Bicep curl, turn it, round and back. Okay? Hopefully you've got some weights to do that. And even if it's a light one, you can still do that bicep curl first and then into that press overhead and turn it back. Okay, so we're going to go into those sumo squats to start. You can have a fairly heavy weight here if you've got it. And we're doing twirl. So you're squatting down, legs wide, down to the ground and lift high for 12, one, two, three, four, five, you can do this with a kettlebell if you've got it, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 12, and down. You then need another weight. And if it's some tins or some water bottles. All right, going into that bicep curl. Pull up and turn it around into that press overhead. Back down, twist, and down for 12. Two. Three. Four, five, six, 
seven, eight, keep it going, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve, and down, and one weight back in hand, another set of sumo squats there with that upright pull for 12. Straight into it, down and up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and back to that bicep curl and press up overhead. Bicep curl and press for one and down. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, and twelve, and back down. Well done. Short breather. One more round. One more round of those twelve sumo squats with the upright pull. If you want to go heavier weight, if you've got it there, use a heavier weight. Alright, I might actually grab, I'm lucky enough to be in the gym and can grab a few different items. You may or may not have those. I might do them this time with the kettlebell there. Alright, so squatting down, wide legs, nice and controlled, sinking into the heels, chest up, and one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and back down. I should have said if you don't have the two weights, you only had a single weight with these bicep curls and presses, you could have done that and that and back down, which I'm sure you would have worked out anyway, but that's another option if you only had the one. Okay, so we've got that set of bicep curl and press to go, 12. Okay, ready and go, one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, and back down. Well done. We're going onto the ground. We've got a mat there, and 
we are doing some stomach crunches. Okay, some stomach crunches. What I want you to do is, I want you to have your knees bent, feet off the ground. I want you to go one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four. Alternating that elbow to knee for four. And then continue through, you know, four crunches, four elbow to knee for one minute. All right, and you're gonna start in five seconds. I'm watching the clock here. Four, three, two, one, and go. Crunch for four. And elbow to knee for four. Three, four. Back to the crunch. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. Continue on. Feel it burn in the stomach, support the neck there. 20 seconds to go.
Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Back together. Walk out. Push ups. Five times through. Five times through. Go. One. Count your own. Keep it going. Keep it nice and strong. Keep that form right. Get the chest down. One more to go. And back up. Finish those off five times. Then we're going back into the reverse lunges. Right, you can do the fly again or you can do the lift. I'm going to do the lift this time with just the single weight. Decide which one you want to do. We're doing 12. Get that step back and balance before adding the arms. All right, so stepping back into that lunge and then lift, down and back. Lunge, lift, down and back. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, two more, eleven, and twelve. Back to your feet and five walkout push ups. Right, toes or knees, get the form right, and go. Two. Three, 
three more. Four. One more. Five. And you're there. We're lying back on the mat. We are going to do some leg raises in between. Again, core. Leg raises. Maybe put your hands, form a diamond, down towards your coccyx or do the lower back there and support the lower back. You bring your legs up straight and you're lowering them down towards the ground. Stomach strong and back up. Now if that's too intense or too much, you can lower one leg at a time. Slight bend in the knee, bring it back up alternately. You do the single leg or the two at once, you're going to do either 15 double leg or 20 single leg alternately. All right, count your own. Stomach strong, support the lower back if you need to. Just hands below in that small of the back. It does just protect that lower spine a little. And legs up, whichever ones you want to do. 15 or 20, go.
All right, so let's start with the dips or tricep extensions. I'm going 15 dips, off you go. Hold it. 
Hold it strong. Endurance. Endurance of the muscles. This is these isometric holds. Usually a slightly lighter weight, but holding and controlling that lift or pull or whatever it may be for an extended period of time. You've got 15 seconds to go. Breathing through. Five, four, three, two, one, and back up. Good work. That's three sets. We're back to our stomach exercise. We're going to do a plank. Just a straight plank for one minute. The only difference is we are going to just slightly lift up the toe off the ground alternately for 10 second holds whilst in that plank position. If you want to, it just makes it just slightly harder, a little bit more intense. Um, otherwise, just hold that straight plank, four arms on the ground and we're going to hold it there for one minute, as I said, just with some toe lifts off the ground. Not too high lift, just a slight lift off the ground. So getting ready into position, into your plank, ready, straight plank, go. Hold it there. And when I say if you want to, you're lifting your left toe slightly off the ground now. Hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Lift the other toe off the ground. Go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Back to the left. Up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Other foot. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And drop it down. And you are there. Drop the knees. And coming back onto your feet. Good work. All right, we've got time to get through one more round, I reckon. Um, we'll probably just do two, two of these. We are going to do a renegade row. All right, I'll wait there. And you're going to go into a straight plank position, feet wide, you've got your weight, you're pulling up, one, drop it down, take it to the other side, two, all right, alternating, three, you're going to do 12 of those, then we're lying on our back and doing 12 bridges or 12 glute raises, all right, two rounds, two rounds. Grab your weight, you can use one or two dumbbells for these renegade rows. If you've got those dumbbells that are slightly higher off the ground, you can have your wrists on those, or your hands on those, or you can simply alternate the one. All right, keep it strong, strong in the core, nice, straight, firm position, and make sure you lift that elbow high and back down, swap sides, okay? I want you to do 12 alternately. Go. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. 11, 12, 
drop down, turn over onto your back. If you want to grab the weight and put it on the hips there, just have your hands on top to keep it in place. You're going up for 12 glute raises, nice and high. I want you to push your heels into the ground and drop back down just short of the mat. Straight back up for 12. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and down. Should be feeling that in the glutes. We're turning back over. We're doing one more set of alternate rows in that straight arm plank position. All right, known as a renegade row. Go back up, nice and strong, shoulders back, straight arms. You, don't, you can do this even without a weight, just pulling up and to alter, alternating the arm. Get ready, 12 alternately. Go, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Back down onto your back, onto your back. Glute bridges, at the weight on the hips, heels down, toes up, keep it strong, nice and high, shoulders back, go, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and drop down. Well done. We're going to stay there on our backs. Good work. We're going to have a little stretch. Bring those arms out wide. And then bring them up overhead. Good, all over strength workout, that one. All right, upper body, lower body and core. Straighten your legs now. And I just want you to bring those hands up over the body and down to the thighs and back up overhead. And then down to the thighs again, back up overhead. Now pull them down to the sides. Big circle around the body and back up overhead and down to the sides, back up overhead and down around one more time. Put one foot on the opposite knee, draw that in towards the chest or draw your chest up towards your knee and foot. Hold it there, stretch the glutes. Squat legs. Stretching those glutes, probably one of my favourite stretches. <laughs> and come down. Let's turn over and just go onto the hands and knees and do a few cat and Camel, cow stretches there. So cat and cow. Up and down. Just pause. And then up the other way, pause. 
stretching through the shoulders and back. And then onto the hands and knees. Pull that arm straight in towards the chest and just stretching through that shoulder blade. Each side. Roll the shoulders back. A few good shoulder rolls. And coming slowly up onto your feet. And that's your session for today. I'm sure you've done enough, but if you haven't and you want to join me for Stronger for Life at 11.30, slightly lighter weights, some similar exercises, some different, um, I'm on again at 11.30. See you soon.